एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम we have been talking in the first part of the video about crystal field splitting and we understood that what crystal field splitting is how does it happen and how binding of ligand influences the splitting of five degenerate t orbitals into two groups t2g and eg Welcome to Ashan Academy my name is Aditya and you're watching engineering chemistry videos if you want to learn more about this topic you can refer this book from Ashan publishing you can find link for ebook in the description box below now let's look into another aspect we will be talking more about the geometry's role i mean what is the role of number of ligands which are binding to a metal ion so there are two possible geometries in general however there can be many more but we are talking the context of only two one is called as octahedral geometry another one is called as tetrahedral geometry so the difference between octahedral and tetrahedral is that suppose it is a metal ion and you have one two three four things let's say in a plane one above the plane and one below the plane so if six possible ligands each corner might be representing a ligand so these blue color dots are ligand if you have six ligands connected to a metal ion so this could be considered possibly as an octahedral geometry so this is an octahedral geometry whereas in case of a tetrahedral geometry there will be only four ligands which will be connected to a metal ion so you can say if it's only like this in one plane this is planar geometry rectangular or planar geometry but when there are only four ligands to be bound they have much more freedom in the space and they can go like this in the tetrahedral fashion so you can say uh in three dimensional space one is on this side one is on this side another is on this side another in this side so this is tetrahedral geometry and this is octahedral geometry this is square planar geometry now does it make any difference if there are only four ligands which are coming close and binding with a metal ion compared to six atoms which are binding here yes and you can see that with the help of this energy diagram there is a significant difference between the crystal field splitting that happens in the octahedral complexes compared to the tetrahedral complexes so i'm not uh, just plotting that low energy or degenerate energy here you can you can further make it uh, somewhere on the left hand side that all these five orbitals will be having same energies but this is basically after splitting so once the splitting has taken place you can see here x y y z and x z all these three which we can call as t to g are at the lower level and two more which we call e g are on the top level and there is a energy gap uh, which is represented by o or we can represent it by delta o now if you compare the same energy gap with that of uh, tetrahedral so this is excited state of of d orbitals in degenerate form and when they got splitted you can see here x square minus y square and z square have come lower so that's something contrasting in case of octahedral you had eg levels having higher energy that means x square minus y square and z square were having higher energy whereas x y y z and z x were having lower energy here it is just opposite now what makes this happen why it is happening why there is just inversion of energy states between t to g and t e g uh, and e g levels when we contrast and compare octahedral with that of the tetrahedral geometry the reason is straightforward why this splitting is taking place you go back to the fundamentals 
when you look at the reason of splitting you will find that if this is a metal ion and if a ligand is approaching from this side or from this side or from this side basically the degree of overlap of orbitals of ligand and that of d orbital that is resulting in change in energy so if a ligand is capable of directly head on moving towards d orbital and it is making a good overlap it will extend that energy level to a higher energy state kind of destabilize it so you can say in case of octahedral complexes when such complexes are formed x square minus y square and z square are making a close contact with the orbitals of ligand so they are being extended to higher energy state on the other hand when it comes to the tetrahedral geometry in the tetrahedral geometry the splitting is taking place in the opposite fashion because xy yz and zx orbitals are now interacting with the ligand so that is the reason which orbital or which type of d orbital is interacting directly or coming close to orbitals or electronic clouds of ligands they reach a higher position in the energy state and that's why you can see x y y z and z x over here and uh, x square minus y square and z square which we call e g over here so there is a complete inversion of e g and t to g in uh, contrast to octahedral when you compare it with tetrahedral i hope that point is very much clear to you and you understood that how geometries will decide the nature of splitting and therefore when you are uh, writing down or when you are representing the electronic configuration or coordination configuration of a complex then you must have to take care of this so in this case when the geometry is tetrahedral electrons will be first filled in these two orbitals then they will be filled in these three orbitals whereas in case of octahedral geometries those compounds which are having six ligand or hexadentate compounds they will have first electrons which will be filled in x y y z and z x and then they will be filled in x square minus y square and dz square so that that was i i think uh, all in this crystal field splitting concept there is a lot more to learn you can practice many many complexes from your standard textbooks you can uh, look at coordination complexes of compounds like cyanide and many other molecules and then you can understand much better that what is the influence of these splittings crystal field splitting on the physical properties and this is also one of the reason when you look at the some abrupt electronic configurations you might ask that why electron is first going into this why not it is going into some other you will always end up in getting answers from this crystal field splitting if you clearly understand that which type of energy level is higher and which is lower then you can correctly fill your energy state and you can draw the molecular orbitals as well as electronic configurations if you want to learn more about this topic you can refer this book from s chan publishing you can find link for ebook in the description box below you can like share and subscribe the channel for continuous use and regular updates All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.